The biggest UEFN update is here. Fab has just released. And with it comes 2.5 million assets from three and soon to be four of the biggest marketplaces in the world. And in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to use it. So let's just get to it. Okay, now Fab is really cool because you could obviously import stuff beforehand, but this makes it so much easier in UEFN anyways. Now, why is it easier? It's because this button up here, get content from Fab. Once we click on this, we're gonna open Fab. It's since, since my content is super good and I do it super early, it's literally not on online yet. But if we go on fab.com, would you look at this? I'm gonna show you later how you can drag stuff in. Now, if I scroll down a bit, uh, as you can see, these are platforms that support supports Unity, Unreal Engine, and of course, UEFN. Now, one of the first things I recommend you doing when you, when you open Fab is getting all the quicks on Mega Scans for free. So you wanna click on this Claim Now button and of course, sign in first. And then you wanna get all the Mega Scans for free. And once you do that, you look at that, you have literally bought every single Mega Scan ever. So that's pretty cool. Remember, you can only do this uh, before the end of the year. So don't, if it's 2025 right now, otherwise you're watching this, you cannot do this and they're going to be, you have to pay for it. But if you're early like me, you'll be able to get all the Quixel Mega Scans for free. Now, another thing I should mention about the Quixel Mega Scans, if you've got them previously on Quixel Bridge or whatever it is, you'll actually lose access to them next year. So you need to make sure you uh, you claim them all in Fab. And if you want to see your Mega Scans that you got, you can go to the Quixel profile, which is where they all are. And now see, you have all of these Mega Scans assets you can now use. Now in here, as you can see, there's tons of assets you can buy. You can see all these assets out here, these fantasy creatures pack. This is all free. You can just download all of this and bring it right into UEFN right now, if you wanted to. There's some really handy features in Fab is that it's like a different kinds of license. You can get a professional or, or personal, which is gonna be free. Remember, professional is for studios or other entities with over 100K in revenue or funding in the past 12 months. Of course, then you can see the publish date. Uh, usually they're all gonna be today because it's when it came out. License terms, you're gonna find that here. You find the age rating, uh, this is not mature. It can also show you if it uses AI or not. And you can see if there's like, you know, the creator has specified the digital content is not be utilized with data assets utilized by generative AI programs. So if you don't want any AI in your in your stuff, you can filter that out. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. And down here, you can see a bunch of all the description. You can see, you know, the thing, you can see a bunch of videos on all of those, all the stuff that the, the person, whoever published this has added. Now, if I just click on the UEFN button, as you can see, these are all the things you can now bring into UEFN. And of course, uh, in here, you can start by relevance, rating, newest, oldest, price, lowest, and highest. For low Price lowest is usually, usually free assets. You just want to get free ones. You can sort by download size, which is very important. Uh, price, if you want, you know, what price you want. If it's on sale or not, so you can, you can see if it's on sale, which none of this is. Um, license type, you can see which type. So Creative Commons attribution. That means you need to do an attribution when you're publishing your map. Let's say if you need to do an attribution when you're publishing your map, you need to, I'll, I'll show you a little image on the screen. You need to attribute yourself. And in the link uh, right here, where you find this license, that's what you need to paste this into. You, you just paste that into uh, whatever. And that's how you attribute. And obviously you get the name and everything. And rating, uh, you can sort by rating. Uh, publish date, you can sort by, you know, all time, one day ago, one year ago. And also you can you can filter out the use of generative AI. And same with uh, created by AI too. You can do that as well. And you can find assets only made by, you know, people who are not using AI. Now just keep in mind, chances are, not everything's gonna be, you know, people aren't gonna really label their fingers we using AI, because how can you really tell? But if they do, it's good to know. And then up here, you can, you can sort by different things. So audio, if I wanted audio, I can do that. If I wanted to do educational tutorials, there's nothing there, but now it goes. Remember, this is just UEFN. If I go back into Discover, remember, this is an amalgamation of four different, or three right now, but it's going to be four different uh, marketplaces. So in Quixel, I can get, I can literally get this old mine if I wanted to. Actually, I already have it. Because remember, I, I actually claimed all the Quixel Mega Scans. So every single Quixel Mega Scan, all these mine assets I now own. Same with um, Saloon Interior, if I wanted to get Saloon Interior. Same with actually every single Quixel thing. So all of these um, I now own just by clicking that one button. And I recommend you do Doing that too. Of course, you environments, UE plugins and tools. Uh, you can't use UE plugins in uh, UEFN yet. Um, free content. You have smart assets, of course. Uh, there's going to be paid assets here. So if you want to pay for an asset, if you want to pay uh, about 450 to 700 bucks for this uh, modular druid bundle, you can. But you can also get animations. So you can get a bunch of animations. Like there's a ton here that you can get. It's really cool. Then, of course, you can go up here. There's, there's gonna be a few buttons. You're gonna be discover where you can find that. You can also get uh, my library. And now in my library, you can now see, yeah, I got my library. Uh, you can now sort by oldest and newest. You can now sort by what format it is and all of this. It's pretty cool. And also the purchase date. And as you can see, these are all the, my old, um, 
things I got from uh, the Unreal Engine Marketplace are now in the Fab Library now. And also just remember, if there's some assets from the Unreal Engine Marketplace that didn't get transferred to Fab, you can still find them if you bought them in here in your uh, Fab Fab Library in the Epic the Games Launcher. A few moments later. So it's actually been a few days since I last recorded this video, just because the UEFN integration was a bit, uh, it was under maintenance for like a week or so. But now if you look at this, if I click on Fab up here, just look at this, it's, it's actually working. Now just keep in mind, um, right now in UEFN, uh, you can only drag in, uh, so to my understanding, referenced assets that are for UEFN. So you can't actually access any Unreal assets in here. If I go to my library, as you can see, I only have the referenceable uh, UEFN assets in here. For example, in my fab library in the Epic Games Launcher, as you can see, I have so much more stuff in here than I do in here. This is because all of this is, is for Unreal Engine, while this is for UEFN. That makes sense. Now, I'm going to show you how to get Unreal Engine assets to UEFN later, but for now, I'm going to show you how this works. So like on the website, if I go into Discover, you can see all the different assets you can find, and you can just browse through here if you want. You can go up to Sort By, and you can, you know, do the sorting, and you can also filter up here as well of all the different options we had earlier. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, Lois first, and I'm going to find some free, free stuff I can just get quickly. Oh, wow. We look at this. Post-apocalyptic scrapyard pack. So what I can do is I can go down to here, and I can add to my library. And then what I can do is I can add the content browser. And clicking this button, basically what this will do is this will I'll add, as you can see, it's going to be building the reference content. If I go down and out, and I go down into my content drawer, you can now see it's going to add a new folder for my reference content. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, this is a tab you can move around in UEFN, so you can dock it like up here or something. And now it's downloaded, so if I, and you can see there's a new folder here for reference content. This is where I'm going to find all the reference content I got. And here we are, Scrapyard. So in here, I can now see all of the new assets I just got. Oh my goodness. So now if I want to, I can just, I can now just, let's say, uh, if I wanted to drag in this, this weird windmill, there we go. I got a windmill. Get this car. Perfect. The sign. Now this is coming together. What even is this? Like a window? Oh, well, would you look at this? Look at this beautiful thing I just made. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, these are reference assets, so if I try to click onto it, like this car, for example, if I click into it, uh, you're going to see that um, I can't really change anything in here. Uh, it's all it's all locked because it's uh, it's reference and I can't really edit it. So just keep that in mind. And then let's say if I go back into Fab, uh, go to uh, my it's going to my library. What I can also grab it is the, like I don't know this, and I'll just add that to my browser. So if I go to my reference content, I now have Sparkle, which is what I just got, which is all this like space stuff. So now I can use, um, so now I can get, use this thing or whatever this is, this gas tank. It's like some weird looking alien thing. This is like, this is like a, a console where you can like buttons onto. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. If I search for Quixel in here, you now see there's a, uh, you can find a Quixel assets. If I search by creator up here and then I can go to the Quixel, I can see everything the Quixel has, has put into the UEFN here. Since, since you remember, it's only, this is the UEFN integration, so it's only the UEFN reference assets that's, that are in here. Like this donut, for example, if I drag out this donut, as you can see, look, there's a donut now. <laughs> then for example, I wanted this Japanese statue. And when I drag it out, it makes this little circle uh, where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to put it right here. And voila, look at that beautiful statue. Now, okay, now this is how you would get referenced assets from the UEFN fab integration. But as you already know, most of the assets in here, these are only in Unreal Engine, not UEFN. So how do we get the Unreal Engine assets into UEFN? Well, the simplest way is going to your Epic Games Launcher. You need to make sure you have uh, the latest version of Unreal. and It can't be 5.2 or lower, so make sure you go 5.3 now. Once you have it installed, you want to go into your fab library and you switch a fab. And you want to install the, the fab UE plugin and you're going to install the uh, fab uh, plugin. Next step is to launch uh, Unreal Engine. Now here I am in Unreal Engine 5, and so oh, it's weird. Uh, everything's different. Uh, anyways, um, now to get into Fab in this version, as you can see, there's no button up here because uh, you know it's different. So what we need to do is we need to either go into Cotton Drawer and click on this button right here, which is the Fab button, or we can go up the window and go down and we can click Fab here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just click well, whatever. It's gonna open the exact same thing, which is Fab here, and this is this is Fab, um, but it's the Unreal Engine uh, integration rather than the UEFN integration. In here now, we can now see, we now have all the Unreal Engine products now. If I go into Quixel, we now have all the other Quixel Megas that we doesn't mine here. So what we can do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my library. And if you do this, um, you might need to do this where you have to sign with Epic and that Access Fab. Just confirm it. And then once you have that, 
I mean, I own the items. That, no, because I did that in my library, I should be able to see everything now. So there we go. Would you look at that? If you saw my library earlier, this is, this is all the stuff I had in my library, which I can now put into, uh, you know, Unreal. So for example, let me just uh, grab these rocket boosters and I'm going to add this to my project and it's going to add, uh, you know, the rocket boosters to my project. And now like in UBFN, our, our rocket thruster thing is here now. So as you can see, we have FX, which is like Niagara systems. So if I, if I open this, we now see, as you can see, we now have this little rocket booster effect. So go out. There we go. Boom. So you're probably wondering, how do I get all this into UBFN now? We need to do something called migration, okay? So so if I right-click on this rocket thruster, then I want to go up to migrate. And once I click on this, it's okay. It's going to migrate everything. Now, to actually get this to work, right now we're in the Unreal projects. What we need to do is we're going to get to Fortnite projects. So just go to documents or wherever uh, Unreal projects is. You then want to find uh, Fortnite projects. want to find the right folder, which is this one, which is Fab Tutorial. And I'm going to click on this. Then once you're in here, you want to go into plugins, Fab Tutorial, and just click on the content. And then... And the select folder and we're going to migrate all of our packages into there and now here i am back in uefn and now as you can see you might have to also reload your uefn project if uh you had it open while you're in unreal now you can see we now have um our the rocket thruster thing we had in unreal and now in uefn so if i go into um uh, go into here um let's add in our thruster static mesh here it is that's pretty cool. And then we can get our, you know, this thing, if you run into the issue where, for example, um, I, I can't drag out this effect uh, for some reason at uh, this plume. What I found is if you right click, you go to effects, then you grab an Niagara system. You know, see, we now have uh, this right here, which is our, you know, thing we just got. If I just create it and then I call this boost or whatever, we now have this system and I can drag this out. And now what do you look at that? That works. Now, fab is really cool, but you should know there are some big downsides. Firstly, uh, the, the assets usually are referenced and you can't uh, edit them. Another one is actually in the marketplace. They've they removed uh, worded reviews, so you can't see any comments on anything. Again, I don't know why. It was kind of like a way to gauge how to do stuff. Another thing is that there is 2.5 million assets, but that also doesn't mean that they're all good assets because a lot of them are just like this that are just pretty bad. You know, it's a lunch of fab, so it's not going to be perfect. So uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's about it. Um, to like, subscribe, uh, use my code in the front of the shop. Thank you to all the members of, the, of this channel and watch all these tutorials for more of my content. That's about it. I'll see you all around.